I'll look at some of my favorite shaving soaps coming up next. Hi YouTubers and wet shavers everywhere, it's Mark with GeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. This time around I wanted to share with you some of my favorite shaving soaps. These are the shaving soaps I find myself reaching for morning after morning after morning. Love these shaving soaps. They're also shaving soaps that I find myself replacing uh, quite frequently because I'm using them so much. So uh, let's get right into it. Uh, I'll show you uh, an honorable mention. I got a couple of honorable mentions here. Uh, the first one is Arco. Arco Shave Stick. It also comes in a puck. Boy, this lathers incredibly well and incredibly quick. A lot of nice protection, good glide. Like this a lot. The Shave Stick is very, very affordable. You can get 12 of these for like 12 bucks. That's like a buck a piece, right? And uh, the puck is also quite affordable. A lot of wet shavers don't care for this scent. It can be off-putting. It's a very strong lemon-like scent. Think ivory soap on steroids. I've become accustomed to it. I don't mind it that, that much. I like the performance of it and it really does give me a nice close shave. I don't reach for it as often as some of these others, but you know what? It does get the honorable mention because I do like it a lot. Uh, the other honorable mention goes to Captain's Choice Bay Rum. Now, I just started using this, so I can't say it's a go-to soap because it's still relatively new to me. Uh, but boy, uh, it's got a beautiful, beautiful Bay Rum scent. It is a crope. A lot of slickness with this. Really, really gives you a slick, slick shave. Uh, it has a Bay Rum aftershave splash, which really complements it. Kind of wraps up your shave very nicely. Like this a lot, I found that when I rinse, if it gets into my eyes, well, you know, I tear up a little bit, uh, so I have to be careful when I'm rinsing. This is probably one of the only soaps that I really have to be aware of when I'm rinsing my face, not to get it in my eyes. But that's really not a deal breaker at all. Uh, but boy, there is a slickness there, and I'm assuming because I believe this is real bay rum that's in there. It could be that bay rum oil. But boy, it is very, very slick. I like this a lot. Only time will tell if I'm reaching for this every, every single morning like a lot of these other shave soaps. All right, next up is one that I really do enjoy is Pinot Clubman. Boy, this is terrific shave soap. It comes in a two ounce puck like this. And I find myself, I think this is my third puck. Because it's a two ounce puck, you can burn through this rather quickly. But it's about four or five dollars. You can buy two of these for about ten dollars, which puts it in the same uh, price range as a lot of these other soaps that I'm showing you. But boy, I like this a lot. I do wish it came in a larger container. You can buy more than one container. And it's a nice size for travel as well, if you want to travel with something. Like this a lot. But I also like it because Clubman makes a wide range of products. If you want to use a balm to finish up after using their shave soap, you can simply use their classic barber shave cream, which indicates, there, it, it, there is an indication here to use it as an aftershave balm. This is obviously a, uh, a brushless, super slick kind of shave cream, but you can use this as an aftershave balm, as well as their uh, shave butter. Uh, again, another brushless shave cream that you can use as an aftershave balm, which is really very nice because I like using their uh, aftershave splash. This is classic, and all of these have the same great Clubman scent, which is why I like it. So if you use the shave soap, you can use the splash uh, as well as the uh, classic barber shave cream and shave butter as a balm uh, to kind of wrap up the shave. A really nice choice. Also, Clubman makes a wide variety of wet shave products. If you're new to the wet shave, uh, make sure you get a styptic pencil. Clubman sells one for about two, three bucks. Uh, I would recommend getting this if you're new to the wet shave. This would come in very, very handy. Really a nice, nice uh, product line, and I love the uh, aftershave scent uh, and the uh, shave soap has the similar great scent, which is why I like it so much. Uh, next up 
is this from Soap Commander. This is Courage. Courage Shave, Shave Soap from Soap Commander. Boy, I love this scent. This scent is wonderful, and you can see I've used quite a bit of this. It used to be all the way up here to the top. I use this a lot. Great scent, makes a wonderful lather. It is non-tallow based, so if you're looking for a, a shave soap that doesn't have any tallow in it, but also makes a lot of lather, check out Soap Commander Courage. Love this scent. I also have another one of their scents, was, which is called Honor. I like that one too, but boy, this is my favorite. Courage, I love this scent. When I first opened it and lathered up with it, it just filled the room. Love the scent. They also make a line of uh, aftershaves to go with their soaps, and the aftershave balm, Courage, is also very, very good. Uh, got a little bit of a menthol kick to it, but uh, boy, same great scent as the Courage shave soap like this a lot. I was, um, I was really happy when I first uh, cracked that shave soap open and used it for my very first shave. Really, really very, very nice. Okay, next up, and these are in, this is in no particular order, but these next two are very, very close. Parasso, Parasso Green, which is uh, menthol and eucalyptus, Parasso White, which is for sensitive skin, and also Parasso Red, which is sandalwood. All of these Parasso shave soaps are like 10 bucks for a container this size, and they are all wonderful. Again, non-tallow based, but boy, they make heaps and heaps of lather. They give such great protection. I used the sandalwood this morning. Parasso Red is sandalwood. This scent is a little more earthy, a little more organic. I use this. Love, love, the, uh, the scent is growing on me, but I love the amount of lather that this makes. Absolutely wonderful. If you do have sensitive skin or your skin borders on a sensitive side, Parasso addresses that with their, their Parasso White or Sensitive Skin Shave Soap. Like this a lot. This is a brand new puck. I've got another one that I'm using. I just bought this just to have it, <laughs> make sure that I had enough in stock because I use Parasso a lot. And of course, I think my favorite of the three is the uh, Parasso Green, which is menthol and eucalyptus. Boy, it's got a great, great morning kick. And after you do that cold water splash to kind of finish your shave up, if you use this, boy, you get that great, great menthol eucalyptus residual kick from this shave soap after you splash your face with cold water. And of course, Parasso makes aftershaves to complement uh, their shave soaps. This is the, the Parasso Green. This is the aftershave balm for Parasso White Sensitive. They also make one for Parasso Red that I have not yet tried because I wanted to uh, try this scent first to see if it was agreeable with me uh, or not. And I like it, so I'll probably get some Parasso Red down the road. But Parasso, about 10 bucks a tub. Boy, great stuff. It is more on the crope side, but boy, it just lathers up like that and gives you a great shave. Up next, and this is kind of neck and neck with Parasso, also from Italy, is Cella. Cella shaving soap is wonderful. It is an almond cherry scent, and you can see I've used quite a bit there already. It is a softer soap, more of a crope as well, just like Parasso. A lot of folks, a lot of wet shavers describe this as having the same scent as Christmas cookies. I don't think that's far off, but um, love, love, love Cella. Really, is, this is terrific, and it makes such a wonderful lather. It is a lot of protection, great scent, wonderful razor glide. I like Cella a lot. You can also, well, here, here's how much I like it. You can also buy it in a big brick like this. And uh, just store it in your refrigerator in a plastic bag, which is what I do. And uh, all you have to do is just unwrap this and cut off a hunk. And I've already cut off a hunk right here, just to show you. Just cut off a, a corner of it right here. You can see that. There it is, just sliced off a corner of it. And I shared some with my brother, who has kind of gotten back into the wet shave routine. And uh, again, wonderful scent. I can, I can, I can uh, smell the scent right now, just wonderful. But again, uh, if you like Cella, 
and uh, you want a lot of it, <laughs> all you gotta do is just buy a big brick like this and put it in a plastic bag. Got my plastic bag right here. Put it in a plastic bag, put it in a refrigerator. Some guys freeze it, so I prefer to put it in my refrigerator. And Chella is absolutely wonderful. Love, love the Chella Safe Soap, Shave Soap. And it is, again, moderately priced like a lot of the others that I've showed you here. Next up is an absolutely wonderful shave soap, Mitchell's Wool Fat. Boy, is this great. I just bought a new puck. This is my uh, second puck. I found myself going back to this over and over again because it makes such a wonderful, wonderful lav lather, and it's made with a uh, natural lanolin. If you have any issues with lanolin, okay, then you might want to double check before you get this, but this was absolutely wonderful. I like the fresh, clean scent that it has. Wonderful performance, great glide, great protection, makes a beautiful lather. Now, before I got this, I had been reading online, a lot of wet shavers were saying that this was difficult to lather. I did not find that to be true at all. I found this to be one of the easiest lathering soaps out there. It just made a lather like that for me. Maybe it's my city water supply, I don't know, but uh, this did a great job. Always does a great job in making lather. Now, uh, the refills are about 15, 16 bucks, but if you buy it with this ceramic dish, it is a little more expensive, just so you know. But uh, you buy the dish once and then you can, or the shaving bowl once, and you can go ahead and just uh, add, you know, buy refills for it. But uh, yeah, uh, Mitchell's uh, Wool Fat Soap, boy, this is terrific. And uh, they've been making this since 1893, that's what they claim. The original 1893 formula, so they must be doing something right. Love this shave soap. Last but not least is my favorite of all of these. I love the shaving soap. Tabak. Tabak is wonderful. It comes from Germany. Uh, again, it's about 15, 16 bucks for a refill puck. I just put a new refill puck in there and have been just started using it. Uh, it's a little more expensive if you buy this ceramic bowl, but I love this bowl. It's got a loose fitting lid like that, so after you use it, you can just put that on and it'll sit cleanly on your counter like that. Ah, this has got a great classic barbershop scent. Just love it. Uh, wonderful lathering quality, good performance, great glide, great protection. Lathers in a snap. I can't believe how fast this lathers. Just a few swirls with a, a synthetic brush and I've got lather and doing a face lather. Love this, absolutely love this. And what's really nice is, they also make a shave stick with the same great uh, Tabak shave soap in there. If you do get this product, remember, just as a reminder here, that uh, you can save these two parts here and just buy a refill like this. And then the refill just goes in here like this. And then you're all set, good to go. Like that. And again, a great travel size to throw in your DOP kit if you want the great performance and scent of Tabak. I don't have any of their aftershave balm or aftershave splash, but I'm told by uh, a fellow wet shaver and viewer of this channel that it's very, very good. So uh, I'm looking forward to getting some of that also because I absolutely love the scent of Tabak. So if you've not tried Tabak and you're just getting into the wet shave world and routine, give this a try. I'm so happy that fellow wet shavers recommended this to me because when I first got it, I just fell in love with it. It made my wet shave so much easier in the morning. Really, really love it and I continue to use it. Uh, and again, I've gone through a lot of pucks and I have uh, another two, three pucks in stock, ready to go, because this seems to be one that I use over and over and over again. All right, that's it. That's all I want to mention to you. Those are some of my favorite shave soaps that I go to over and over again. I use these frequently and most often. There are a lot of other shave soaps out there that I've used, but these seem to be the ones that I go to over and over again uh, each and every morning. They give me some Wonderful, wonderful uh, morning shaves. And I just wanted to share those with you. If, especially if you're new to the wet shave, any of these 
will give you a wonderful morning shave. They do run anywhere from 10 to 15, maybe $20, depending on which one you buy and where you buy it from. Also, again, just know that if you buy the Tabak or the Mitchell's Wool Fat with the bowl, it's gonna be a little more expensive, but the refills are about $15, $16 right in there. Okay, that's it. That's all I wanted to mention to you. Thanks very, very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Uh, comment below, let me know. Check out my blog, georgetoon.com slash blog for my comic strip George, other cartoons, other videos like this. Check out my Amazon product page at uh, amazon.com slash shop slash Mark's Ready where you'll find all the products that I review on this channel, organized and categorized so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in. Again, I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.